Hello, everybody. It's Steve. Welcome back to Hard Space Ship Radio. Let's go ahead and finish up the Southern Conway Express. we got a little ways to go to get us to level 5 and to finish this guy off. In between the videos, I did go ahead and I purchased more tethers. You can see I now have a maximum of 30 available to me. I'm going to go ahead and cut up the rest of this hull, get it on in there, and now I'm really just firmly in the tether camp. I think it did a really, really good job. Go ahead and Okay, I was seeing those things popping up on my screen there. Let's go ahead and pop up underneath. Okay, a bunch of stuff for the furnace. Let's go to make sure we get everything out of here that we need to. Okay, pretty much looks like nothing heading into... That's got to come to the barge, and bye bye Was that? That was so cool. Oh. Gonna pop this guy down. There we go. I'm actually recording this one well in advance. I'm just I'm at the point with this game. It's just like I need to play this thing just to unwind at the end of the day. So why the hell not? And slap that guy on in there. Actually, wait. This is all the barge? Yeah, go ahead and just push that on in. Oh. Dang it! I've done that twice now with the taking out that airlock console on accident. I feel kind of stupid doing that. My words. Alright, let's go ahead. Pop this guy loose. There we go. I'm gonna do two days. Hopefully finish this guy on off. And that should take care of it. Tumbling away. Perfect. Just how I planned it. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Pretty sure that was not just the the light did not put me into level four. I'm gonna go ahead and pop all these sections off real fast. These two right here should be the last ones I need to break the ship free. Okay, this all looks like it's part of the ship itself. Now I'm going to have some fun with this. Head out here. Grab this section, attach her to that. I should pull off those two sections pretty dang easy. I like it. Alright. Looks like the majority of what's left here has to go into the furnaces. That's fabric, so we can burn that on off. We got some extra thruster fuel here. All furnaceable stuff. So here's my play. Oh, I've got a couple hull plates on that side. Let's grab those. Same thing that I did with that section. Pop it all off. Drop it in there. 
and grab that. Oh, some lights in here too? Okay. Hmm. Well, those will be fine as long as I don't uh, launch it all off with everything else. Alright, so I want to leave one piece on each. Yeah, they're all braced up here on the bottom, so I'll leave that guy. Recording a video while you've got a nasty, nasty cough going, not COVID, is really difficult because I got to keep muting my microphone to avoid coughing in y'all's ears. Kind of the same thing when I'm at work and I'm talking to somebody. I always got to mute my microphone because I don't want to be, don't want to be coughing in their ears. Kind of rude. I'm trying to get a little better on that with my content too. All right, so each of these sections are now free. Checking all of them. It's all saying compartment, so we should be fine. And these lights, we'll grab these suckers in the meantime. Valuable object process. Credits awarded. Okay. Now, if I did this right, even that thruster fuel, I'll let that go into the Nice. L5. We're going to cut these four brackets and send this big chunk of the back of the hull into the furnace. And just the relaxing of this is... Oh, shit. Okay. You saw the front of the hull kind of separate a little bit, so we'll grab that here in just a moment. I am not going to push myself. I'm getting about four meters per second, which is more than enough for me to get it done. Activate terminal. Grab a pot of O2. And get back out there. Everything else we got is pretty much cleared up on this guy. It's more an issue of... Making sure the ship doesn't get too... Pulled too far off. If I did that all correctly, there's nothing else for the barge. That thruster fuel, I'm not worried about that. Okay. Let's see if there's any cut points in here. Not seeing any. Okay, hang on a second. Follow it in. <laughs> in this section, I just have to cut the glass out, or I can say to hell with it, dump all the glass in there. I'm kind of leaning on the ladder just to get through this. Oops. I'm not worried about the glass on that one, to be perfectly honest. But the ship's been cleared. That's all going in. Ah, oh, dang it. I always, I always miss on the doors. But that's that last little bit heading in there. That's going to close the gap. Let's get out of here. I got five minutes left on my shift. I got 17 tethers. This ship has been salvaged. But it does say, if you look at the top right of my screen, it says I can rank up now. And the nice thing is I'm getting used to the controls of this, which is really helpful too. Um, so I killed an airlock console, a light, a door, some glass, but I got $2 million out of that one. Got it at five. New certification level attained. 
which means I should, keyword, be able to get something that'll actually improve my oxygen on, or being able to uh, recover oxygen while working in a pressurized space. Good morning, Cutter 9346-52. All right, folks. Got a priority message coming in for corporate. Everyone put down what you're doing and have a listen. Hmm. Maybe they're going to give us some holiday time. That'd be awesome. Hmm. That would be a first. Probably just another Pulsen kid getting a cushy exec job. Hush up now, y'all. This is an important message to all Link Salvage Division employees. It's come to our attention, thanks to a very loyal member of our family, that there has been talk about forming a Shipbreakers Union. A union is a dangerous thing, where extensive fees are extracted for so-called representation of your workers' rights. At Lynx, our top priority is already your well-being. This is why union activity is strictly prohibited by your contract, for your own protection. To safeguard you and your work, we are immediately dispatching an administrator to every salvage sector. This administrator will oversee operations and ensure proper employee conduct. They are authorized to correct worker behavior by any means, and they'll remain in place until we can guarantee company-wide integrity. Until then, remember, the company is your family. The union is your enemy. Thank you. <laughs> no holiday. Told ya. A union? I haven't heard anything about that. Have you? Of course not. Probably happening around the Martian districts. They always been quarrelsome. You heard anything like that, Lou? Uh, no. Hey, Weaver, do you know when our administrator's showing up? Uh, week, maybe. Coming all the way from HQ at Jupiter Gate. When they get here, we'll need to be on our best behavior. Oh, great. Ah. Nothing to fret about, all right? But they are going to be checking everything. Salvage logs, transmission records, operational efficiency. Oh, great. You'll be fine, Kai. It's not a performance review. Lou's right. Now, let's just try and keep our heads down and weather this storm together. See y'all in the yard. We were out. Hey! Don't worry, this is a closed channel. There won't be a log. Well, looks like things might get a bit difficult around here. They're gonna try to make our lives hell. Don't worry. Just having access to the Union News Group doesn't make you a full-fledged member. Besides, no one from corporate has access. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous. If anything happens, I'll make sure nothing comes down on you. Lou out. All right, got uh, 50 gamer score there for completing Act 1 of the campaign. Um, you may not be able to see that little bleep bloop on OBS. So we now have the Javelin Tanker from Heavy Helix Industries, a highly modular multi-purpose ship, extensive fire hazards on board. Let's go ahead, get through all that stuff. Grab my mail so I don't get any stuff with that. Now, if you want to go ahead and read this, Go ahead and read this. I'm just going to scroll through it, pause the video if you like, to go ahead and read that, because I do want to try to get at least started on my next ship before I wrap up the video. And I do also want to upgrade my equipment, because I'm now rank 7. Rank 7. Uh, tether lifetime, charge pushed unlocked. Nope, that's not what I'm looking for. I want helmet stuff. O2 recharge molecule install an atmosphere pump su filter subsystem that allows for the gradual replenishment of breathable oxygen tanks while in a pressurized environment absolutely worth grabbing that there uh work suit suit integrity i got heat resistance available unfortunately i'm now just short on lynx tokens i need 25 for all that durability drain did i get that yet yeah the top speed increase 
fuel capacity, not really an issue. It's more, I need fuel. Double check my equipment there. Yeah, we're good. Go ahead and pick a new ship and get on going. And so we're finished with that guy. We now have uh, options to us, a Thunder Wrangler. It's a uh, 8.8 .8 million. I'm going for the cost here. Ooh, 12 million bucks. 17 million bucks. Hello. I think I got it for the 17 mil. Where's that guy? Up here? Yeah. So this is a Nomad Cargo Hauler. Plenty of spots on it. Looks like it's pressurized as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. How did I destroy an antenna already? Gopher. Move on pretty quick. Like a gopher. <laughs> what? Boy, you better come visit sometime on Mars when you're done here. <laughs> One day, we'll all go see them gophers and whatnot. Keep that front of mind and don't fret none. Carry on now. We were out. So obviously we're going to get some uh, concerns about what's going on. Applying credit to account. Go ahead and pull this, reel this utility arm in. And send her on south. Do a quick scan of her. I'm not going to burn tethers on stuff. I can just shoot off into space. But I did accidentally kill an antenna, which is unfortunate. Because that's a lot of credits that I just blew through. There is a... Pressurized area there you see in the green. I can pull some of this stuff out, which is kind of nice. Whoa's! Get away from me. <laughs> Do not want to die again. What? Oh, it's a furnace. Can I reel it back in? Uh huh, maybe not. Oh, it's now scrap. Crap. I thought it said barge on it. This here should just swing out into space. Ah, jeez. I could swear that thing just said differently. Alright, some kits in here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this stuff. Atmospheric regulator. That's gonna be helpful. Hey, cool. New poster. Grab all that stuff. Furnace, furnace barge. Whew. Okay, electrical systems, coolant systems, radiation. Okay, so I gotta go through the airlock on this stuff. Ah, damn it. Just burn a tether. Unfortunately, I think I'm keep using the right click as something that it's not supposed to be. There we go. I think we're just gonna yank the guts out of this guy to wrap up this video. Oh, 
But being able to get a lot of the guts out of these things and almost get level one right out of the gate, always helpful, isn't it? Still feel bad that I accidentally destroyed two things that... It's not jeopardizing me hitting level five on it, but it's still kind of frustrating. You, I do want to get like a perfect pull on it. Amazingly, with the achievements in this game, most of them are story-based. So that's actually really helpful for us. And also for you, if uh, you do want to pick up this game, I'm playing it on Game Pass. I've got links to where you can pick it up directly from the store. From the website, I think I got a link to it on Steam, maybe Epic as well. I've got plenty of links for where you can pick up this game in the description for this video. I'm surprised my health suit has not just been getting its ass handed to it. I'm not going to go through that door because it is still pressurized. In fact, that's maybe where I want to go here in a moment. There's an airlock around here somewhere. Maybe on the bottom of the ship? Yeah, let's try down below. Nope, no airlock down here. But I do see a lot of radiation because my system's glitching out like a moaf. stuff back here. Hmm. There's an airlock up there. That's what I'm looking for. Ha, ah, there we go. Get in. Okay. Activate airlock console. Go. Okay. The reactor's right below me. But if I hang around in here for a moment. Oh, a data drive! This is actually an achievement if you grab one of these. Pretty sure it's an achievement. But if I hang in here for just a moment, I should, keyword, be able to get some O2 back. But I also want to depressurize this compartment also. Admittedly, I'm not saving a ton of O2. Whoops. Yeah, I'm going to depressurize this. Trying to make sure I blow, don't blow anything out in the process. A lot of cut points in here too, which concerns me. I think I'll do what I usually do: cut the cut the bottom out, like so. Big piece out of the bottom. It looks like it's all processor stuff. Here we go. Thrusters. Right. Okay. Should have seen that one coming, actually. That actually was kind of cool doing that little rip out of there like that. Get myself back up here. Just going to grab a thing of O2 real fast. It saved me a couple of minutes doing the repressurization, but I wasn't able to actually like do a lot whilst in there. Oxygen 
Hmm. I understand, like, yeah, it'd be a great idea to save some of that stuff, but... I'm not sure what it's actually doing for it. Reactor's down. There's the engine room. Could dump the core straight out. And hang on a second, what was that? Oh, perfect, an access panel. I can use that. And go right where I need to. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. Now oh, there he is. Have five minutes left in your shift cutter. Do what you do. Weaver out. This, would be, this might be enough to get me to level 1 real quick. Send her on down that way. Wasn't expecting to do that. I don't know how the hell to get to it. Oh my god, how do we get there? How do we get there? How do we get there? Damn it! <laughs> I don't even know how to get into that thing. inside. Shit, shit, shit. Mm. I'm losing a ton of money. I can't figure out my way around this damn ship. That's what not to do. You see what I mean Jesus, I lost a ton of credits on? there. It's easily done. I've done it myself, I can tell you. And more than once. Maybe let's give it another go. Nah, well, that's all going into the damn processor. Object accepted for processing. <sighs> well, there goes level 5. Okay, first off, how the hell was I supposed to know that stuff was in there? Oh, I probably should have, actually. Well, that's a lovely way to wrap up the video by making more mistakes. Damn. There's no way I was going to be able to figure that out, by the way. It's a lot of scrap for the furnace. Okay. I'm definitely not doing that for the other side of the ship. I'm actually really frustrated with myself. So I'm just going to head back and I'm just going to end my shift. This, this was a disaster. Next video, hope to do a little bit better, maybe not kill myself, or uh, destroy the ship in the process. Alright. Learned a lot in this video. Got it through Act 1 of the campaign, which is kind of cool. And then hopefully, god damn, look at that antenna flight terminal. 3,000 3, kilos of that. How much did I actually destroy? Yeah, barely made a profit on this. But there's still 14 million worth of cargo that can be salvaged. So that's what I'm going to be aiming for in the next video. And again, hopefully, let's, let's just hope I do a lot better on the next one than I did on this one. For now, though, like, comment, share, and subscribe Enjoy if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching. Oh, dang it.
saw that you found an old data drive while you were salvaging. Now, I'm a bit of a tech head and a history nerd, so I love these things. They're uncensored info. Eh, sometimes it's junk, but sometimes, sometimes it's gold. Either way, it's a more genuine view of the colonies than what you see on the garbage news network. I'm sending you a data recovery program. You'll see it on your HAB terminal. Soaking in solar radiation mangles up the data pretty bad, but you can usually pull one or two intact files. Hopefully it'll give you a better sense of the wider world. Warts and all. Have fun. Later, Rook. Yes, yeah, so pretty much her message is pretty much that exact same thing here. Got that new poster. Let's go ahead and wrap up now instead of me talking over everything. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.